gentlemen. What the fuck? This game's trying to kill me. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, welcome back to episode three of the hardcore. Today, I think my main focus is going to be uh, some sort of roof for all of this. I really want to make it glass, but I don't think glass will look good. So we'll have to figure it out. I might actually, I might not do glass. I might do, what are those called? Uh, leaves. Have like a, have spruce logs or something around the outside. And then have leaves running all the way across it, matching sort of like the terrain generation. I think that's actually what I'm going to do. I feel like if I have it, since I have those down there, I'm going to keep them logs. I made some audio adjustments. And I have to realize I have to talk louder. Oh yeah, I'm not even close. I have to go get more trees. I need like Two, three, four, five. Oh, I knew it. I needed one. And none of them are growing. There we go. Okay, we got one. So hopefully this gives us the five we need. I do guess we're on the same level. But that looks flat as my thing. I guess one Anywhere I want to fix. Kind of terraform it a little bit. So it looks sort of like it's supposed to be there. Eh, better nothing. I'll work on them more eventually. It looks, I think it looks pretty good for a start. So, now we go down. Yeah, it's like, I gotta look at it from all sides, but... Uh, do I like it? I think I'm gonna start with it. I'm just gonna, because I needed something. And... That was better than nothing. So I guess I'm gonna say that's a good start. Oh, I gotta. Alright, well, I'm glad I saw that now. I have to go 
do some more torching because it got darker, not by much, but definitely enough. Lot of left out for night. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna quickly make this part look good. I think one of my goals for this world is to make it so that this wheat farm turns turns into an automatic wheat farm. Like, of course, it's not going to be efficient at all. But have it so, like, the whole ravine worth of stuff will just get sent into one collection area. I think that's one of my goals for this world. Don't want to destroy. Oh, okay. I was going to say, don't want to destroy the wheat that's not ready. Is they go destroy a thousand that's not ready? <laughs> we fell, so. Did, but like I thought it was falling to my death. Ugh. Sweet. Okay, so we have farmed. Okay, I'm gonna sleep and I'm gonna go find sugar cane. Oh, pumpkins! Now I can finally start slowly getting rid of torches. Wait, let me get a second. 29 chunks? That's why it's struggling. Back at home. We returned with lily pads, sugarcane, and vines. So now we are going to. and pumpkins, and pumpkins. We are going to quickly make farms for those. Something like that. I'm thinking, I think I'm going to do sugarcane over here. Let me see if I can, let me see if, let me see if this works. Oh, well. This, uh, so. Alright, there's a reason all this is this. The wheat looks cool just because it's in the thing. The sugar cane, honestly. <clears throat> so, the reason why I'm doing it so it looks, it looks cool more than practical is one, I don't really care. It's, it's just sugar cane. It's gonna grow if I give it stuff to grow. Uh, two. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. No, um, I want, I just want to, I don't want to do it the same way I've been doing it the whole time. That's kind of one of the main focuses with this hardcore world, is every time I go into a world, it's bam, bam, put water in the middle, four blocks around, and you got your stuff. Okay, this, I can already tell, is going to be loud. I hope that's better. But I've always been doing it like the same structured way in Minecraft gets really boring. So, 
what I'm trying to do with this is think of new ways to do old things. They might not be the best, but that's okay because if it's more fun then I'll come back more than what the best is. So that's just my sort of my sort of thinking and ideology behind my stupid ass sugar cane farm. I'm gonna combine all of this stuff. Because this is when I had like no food and let's get it level 30. I'm just gonna keep on leveling up for a while to be honest because I'm not in really any good place for torches any good place for or any good place or any good reason to torch them okay do this Okay, that's good. And I believe I need four obsidian for an enchantment table. What the? Yeah. Paper, drink, book, book, and diamond. There we go. Sick. Okay, so now I have enchantment table. So for now, I'm just gonna <laughs> throw it in the corner. And let's get our first efficiency one. There's two things I want to do. I want to do you. Get a good chest plate. And there we go. Okay, two very simple enchantments. I think I'm going to use this part for the portal. Because I could have it be like a ooh, mystery entrance that you walk all the way down into. Like, I don't think I'm going to go that deep, so I'm going to actually like, block that off. Like, you know, like that. I think I'm gonna have it where it's like here because I really, really, really hate the portal noise. And then what I'm gonna do is have like an effect where it seems like the nether is kind of coming out. Yeah, the nether's gay. No, uh, the nether kind of like f like escapes from the portal. Like you've, you've probably seen it before, but it, I like the effect and I've never actually used it, so I kind of... I had a very bad history with Hardcore in the Nether, because my last Hardcore world, I got pretty far. I did, I got to like ice and like boats and stuff, and I was boating around, going to places I needed to go. But I have learned my lesson with boats and ow. I learned my lesson with boats in ice is you must have a block underneath it for hardcore. Because I had a one thin um, rail that went straight over lava and it was only two blocks tall. So it pushed me up and then it pushed me straight through the ground. And I just sat there, watched myself fall like 40 blocks, and die. So hopefully that doesn't happen. So if this is the end, thank you guys for watching, but let's just see how this works out. Oh, are you kidding me? This world is cracked. So that's, that's good.
Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> Shut up. What the heck? Hey, drop your bow. Oh, what the? <laughs> so now... We can start with some potions. We can get some basic potions going. Um, I hear a blaze farm. A blaze spawner. Or just... Shit, 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 Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I look wrong. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, I really... I, oh my lord. Gentlemen? What the fuck? This game's trying to kill me. Yes! Saddle. I'm not mistaken when I heard an enderman. So I'm gonna... Teleport to me, pussy! <laughs> Alright, um... Huh. I'm gonna, um, uh, I'm gonna... Uh, very carefully make my way back. And... I'm gonna call this enough nether for one day because my concentration level is like diminishing do one more row and remove this now. This episode, I... Oh, so let's start from the beginning, actually. <laughs> Made a roof. <laughs> got sugar cane. Then it pretty much finished that side of the wheat. Just gotta go only a little bit that way. Then I'll be able to... The wheat that way. I have plenty of cows. From a successful pumpkin farm. And... Wait, 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 I have the, I have the roof. The roof looks good. I might do some changes to it, but I also have another portal, and so that was a decent episode. We got enough done that we wanted to get done, and so I'm going to say goodbye. All right, thank you all for <laughs>